Want to learn how to use glyphs inside of Canva to make your font stand out? Then keep on watching. Hey y'all, Victoria Shree here with Pretty Party and Crafty, and we're going to jump right into how you can use glyphs inside of Canva. So first off, make sure you already have Canva and your design open. And there's this font that I like to use called, I believe it's Sergio Trendy. And it looks like this when you type it out. But if you look at the font listing right to the left, the R kind of goes over the G. The same thing in the word with trendy, the R hooks over the top of E. But when I type it out, I don't get that. So to be able to access glyphs, you have to already have the font installed on your computer. So for Sergio Trendy, you can go to defont.com. I'll link it in the description of this video and you can download it from here. Now keep in mind, defont.com, these are free for personal use only. And if you scroll down, it shows that you don't have access to all of the characters. So wherever you see the letter K, K, that means you don't have access to that character. And to get access to all the characters, you can get the um, full version on their website. It's linked here. But what you'll wanna do is just download the file to your computer and get it installed. I like to get my fonts from Creative Fabrica. I'll link it in the description because you get a commercial usage and the full version. And if you want to see everything that is included, you can click on view all glyphs and you can see what's included and it highlights the extended decorative clips. So I do want to download this. So um, I'm just going to click on download. Then I'm going to make sure that I install it on my computer because it's in a zip folder. I have to right click it and select extract all. If you have a MacBook, just double click it. I'm gonna hit extract and then I'm gonna right click and select install. So I do need to upload this font to Canva. So I'm just gonna open Canva in another window and I'm gonna to go to brand, click on brand kit. Um, I'm just gonna select one of my brands, click fonts on the left side and where it says manage uploaded fonts, I'm gonna select that and add new. And then I'm gonna select the font that I just downloaded and hit open and then hit yes upload. I'm going back to my main window and I'm refreshing that page to make sure that it recognizes the font that I just installed. And now I'm just going to rearrange the text so we can see them before and after. Now to be able to access the glyphs, you need to have your character map open. Now I have my character map pinned right here at the bottom. I'm gonna exit out for a second. Mine is pinned right here at the bottom. Now, if yours is not, all you have to do is search for character map, and then you can right click it and select pin to deck taskbar. Mine says unpin because it's already there, but you'll select pin to taskbar, and that's a quick way that it's already there. If you don't wanna pin it, that's okay. You can just click on it to open it. All right, so it opens up on the sides. So what we wanna do is look for the font called Sergio. So just, you can just type it and there it is. And as you can see, some of the characters aren't available. That's what the KK is for. But if we scroll down, we can see that we do have some extended glyphs that's decorative. So for example, we have the, um, there's the RG. So I'm gonna just double click it. So we have RG, I'm gonna select copy. And then over here, I'm gonna just paste it. So control V to paste. And I'm gonna delete that original RG. So now we have that extended R. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing again. Um, now I want, let me delete that. I want the RE. So let's see if we can find it. All right, the RE is right there. So I'm just gonna double click it. Select copy, and I'm gonna hit Control V. Okay, and that's how you get the extended glyphs for your font. I'm gonna do the same thing with Annabelle script. So I'm gonna go back to character map. I'm gonna search for Annabelle on here. 
Okay, I'm, I'm glad I picked this font because I had trouble finding the decorative glyphs for this one because it didn't show up on that main page. I was clicking around and couldn't find it. So this is what you're gonna do. You're gonna check advanced view where it says group by, you're gonna select Unicode sub range. And in the pop-up menu, you're gonna select private use characters and scroll down some and you're gonna see the characters for you to use. All right, and you're basically gonna do the same thing. You're gonna double click the new glyph that you want, select copy, and then paste it into the text by selecting Control V. And you can do that for as many letters as you want to get the desired effect. All right, so hopefully this was helpful and now it helps you to clearly see the difference um, between regular without glyphs and with glyphs. So if you have any questions, be sure to let me know in the comments. Hopefully you learned something new. Be sure to like and follow for more. Later, y'all.